LMD E6 is the long-awaited next release of Linux Mint based on Debian 12 Book 1. Technically, LMD E6 is on the pair with Linux Mint 21.2. What LMD E6 has in store, whether it's worth switching to LMD E6 and when you should upgrade from LMD E5, all this is available now. Stay tuned. To clarify an essential detail right away, LMDE stands for Linux Mint Debian Edition. The base is Debian stable, in this case Debian 12 Bookworm, which was released in summer 2023. Debian stable has the reputation of being rock solid, maybe even a bit more robust than the Ubuntu LTS base on which the regular Linux Mint Edition is built. In case you are wondering why the effort is duplicated, LMDE is the alternative in case of the main Ubuntu base edition fails or becomes unusable as the primary edition. What sounds strange at first could soon become reality because Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu, will in all likelihood replace the Ubuntu version based on Debian packages with a new approach based on the in-house snap container format. Ubuntu 2404 LTS, which is still primarily based on the Debian package with Snap in addition, will be the first, but Ubuntu 2404 will also be released as a Snap only version. Presumably, the change will then be made to Ubuntu 2604. For Linux Mint, that would be the point in time for which preparations have already been made an alternative edition that can be used in short term. Back to LMDE6, the code name of this edition is Fay. Due to the Debian stable underpinning, it is an LTS distribution that comes with static package versions and receives long-term maintenance. The primary package format is the Debian package and these are supplemented by flatback container packages. The minimum requirements look like this. 2 GB of RAM, better 4 or more. 20 GB disk space, better 100 or more and a VGA, that means 1024 by 768 pixel per inch resolution or better. These are thus unchanged from the predecessor LMDE5 based on Debian 11. The potential Linux Mint target group consists on desktop users. It does not matter which Linux Mint edition is in play. Both do an excellent job on the desktop since the Cinnamon desktop is the main factor here. This is especially beneficial for newcomers who may not yet be familiar with the common programs and are taken by the hand and provided with a sensible selection of software packages. So anyone who needs a well-tuned and stable system is in good hands with LMDE. What's new? Debian 12 Bookworm Substructure, Cinnamon 5.8, a reverse design, cinnamon styles, improved flatback compatibility, Warpinata hardened. LMDE6 is based on the same software stack as Linux Mint 21.2 Victoria. Let's come to the system measurement. My system clawed 7.5 GB from the disk. The system used 1.2 GB of RAM when idle. The number of pre-installed packages was 2081 Debian packages. Now let's look what we have actually. There are 7.5 GB used. There are 1.3 GB of RAM used. And we have 2081 packages pre-installed. At the time of creating this video, Cinnamon version 5.8.4 was available. If you check out this video later, a newer version of Cinnamon will probably be available. Cinnamon is adapted from Windows 10 and the concept is obviously based on it. We have a central bar at the bottom which comes with a start menu on the left, followed by shortcutted apps. You can pin them if you want. For example, let's use web apps and you can pin the web app manager to the taskbar to pin the panel. Close it and then you see it is here. Other apps not pinned on the taskbar are listed behind. Let's have an example. Let's say Celluloid, the video player, is here. On the right side, you have access to system indicators and control. For example, 
The Update Manager is also here. That's it. This is a confused concept in general and in Linux Mint with Cinnamon in particular. The result will be that those who have worked with Windows for years and are comfortable with it will also be able to get on and get along quickly here. The desktop can be customized and also supplemented with extensions. You can find them here in the settings, then go to extensions and then download. Wait a second. And then, for example, let's use transparent panels. Click it and then install. Go back to manage, mark it, click the plus to enable it, and then the panel is transparent. If you don't want it to 100%, you can also change this. And then, type of transparency, go to semi transparent. Then you have around 50%. I don't know what exactly the value is. If you don't want it anymore, just click here on the minus and disable the add-on. That's it. The extensions can also be automatically refreshed by the Update Manager on request. Open the Update Manager, go to Edit, Preferences and then Automation. And then you have to take care that update cinnamon spices automatically, update flatback automatically and of course apply updates automatically. These three parameters must be activated. If you want a detailed presentation of the Cinnamon 5.8 innovations, then I recommend my video on Linux Mint 21.2 Victoria. It goes into more details at this point. It don't have to be done twice. Hence the reference to the video of Linux Mint 21.2. Link is in the description down below. Now let's come to the software selection. We have Linux kernel 6.1. As browser, there's Firefox. As email client, we have Thunderbird. As office package, there's LibreOffice. As software container, there's Flatpak. Here we also seen certain differences to the Debian base. Firefox is the regular edition, not the Firefox ESR. Linux Mint ships the Flatpak container solution by default. Debian does not. These changes to Debian are completely acceptable for me. Ultimately, however, it is a matter of taste. For the ordinary desktop user, everything is included that one could wish to get started. Compared to Linux Mint 21.1, the LibreOffice version with 7.4 is a bit more modern, but also behind the current version. That's just the way it is with LTS distros. However, this is not a problem, as there are few revolutionary features. Mostly, there are corrections and smaller innovations that you can do without in case of doubt. If you are missing software, then the Software Manager is the place to go. Just wait a second, it is generating its cache. Here you get the concentrated power of FOSS software, both Debian package based and Flatpak based. Meanwhile, it also better signals which source an app is based on. Let's check this out for Spotify. Click on it. And then here you have this menu, you can see System Package, which is a Debian package, and Flatpak, which is a Flatpak package. In other case, let's check Visual Studio Code. There is no System Package, that means only Flatpak is here visible. Now, moving to the burning question, should you switch to LMDE 6? Here, my answer is that it can definitely be recommended. This to all three factions I would pin down as the primary group of interested parties. Linux Mint main edition users, LMDE 5 users and of course Debian users who like Cinnamon Desktop. But an upgrade wizard is only offered to those who use LMDE 5. In the next days or weeks the possibility to upgrade online will be offered, so stay tuned. If you are using Linux Mint 21.2 Victoria, you cannot simply change the edition. In this case, you have to back up your data, reinstall LMDE 6 and then restore your data. The same applies to Debian users. Although LMDE is a Debian based and includes its own package repository, I wouldn't change it around like that. This has a potential for dependency problems when upgrading now or also at a later date. I would leave it alone and change cleanly via a new installation. 
With LMDE, you have exactly the same desktop layer as with the regular Linux Mint edition. The only difference is in the substructure. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu LTS and LMDE is based on Debian Stable. Depending on this, you have a newer base here and there. For example, Ubuntu 2204 appeared as the basis for all Linux Mint 21 editions in 2022. Debian 12 Bookworm appeared in 2023 as the basis for LMDE 6. Next year Ubuntu 2404 LTS will appear as the basis for all Linux Mint 22 editions. In 2025 Debian 13 is expected to come as the basis for LMDE 7 and so on and so on until today Canonical switches Ubuntu purely to snap at which point this pattern will probably be broken. But we are not there yet today. I think it illustrates who is more modern in terms of the substructure and when. Now let's come to the final conclusion. LMDE 6 is in my eyes a solid successor of LMDE 5 and even the better choice for Debian users who want to use the Cinnamon desktop. There is Cinnamon in the Debian package sources but not in the latest version and then without any Linux Mint themes and customization. The Cinnamon desktop shipped in Debian does not look as polished as the one in LMDE. It can be customized with effort, but I would recommend switching directly to LMDE to just get the latest and the greatest Cinnamon version and of course user experience in general. I always don't recommend upgrading now. Let at least two or three weeks go by, better two or three months. And by the way, LMDE 5 won't go bad overnight just because the successor has been released. My credo is rather to wait a little longer in the expectation that any troubles that may still be found at the beginning will be fixed by the time when I switch. So it's better to be patient, it will certainly pay off. What are your impressions about LMDE 6? Do you like it? When will you upgrade? Are you planning to switch to LMDE 6? As you can see, feel free to fill the comments with your opinions. If you liked the video, I would be happy about a free channel subscription, a thumbs up, and you can also activate the bell. Then you will always get informed when there are new videos here coming out on my channel. Thanks for the kind attention. Have a nice time, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon. Peace. Thank you.